What's up everybody, this is MMA Rant and I'm coming to y'all today with another video. But before I get started, I want to give a shout out again to my boy FarmerBob96 for sending me a comment, a message this morning. I had to get up and go to work on a Monday morning. I was not feeling like going to work whatsoever. When I got this message from Farmer Bob that Conor McGregor tweeted that he was back on UFC 200, that shit confirmly woke me up. And guess what? I was I was very happy and ecstatic about that. But of course, I had to do a little research on that, okay? And I said, you know what? Conor McGregor is always good for posting tweets, trolling, and shit like that. So I had to hold my horses on posting a video in reference to that until I got the full scoop on everything that was going on. But before I get into that, I first want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Thanks to everybody that's been listening to my videos, uh, sharing my videos, leave me with comments. Like I said before, I will definitely get back to everybody's comments, good or bad, it doesn't matter. I'm going to respond to your comments because I appreciate you hitting on my videos and I appreciate you, you know, wanting to talk to me about something. Also, hit me up on Facebook. In the description below, there's a link to my Facebook page. If you want to check me out on there, send me a friend request. It's not a share or like page like I said before. It's an actual real Facebook page where you can send me a friend request and I will accept your friend request. On my Facebook page, y'all, I on uh, during the pay-per-views and the fight nights and things like that, I post highlight, actual highlight, real-time video of the fights, and I also chat and conversate with some of my friends on Facebook about the fights, as well as you know what's going to happen with the fights before they even happen. So if you want to uh, get a little bit more personal with me on Facebook, check me out, see what I look like, get a feel for who I am, also talk to me a little bit more in depth during the fights. Hit me up on Facebook. Send me a friend request, and I will accept it. And like I said before, if you're listening right now, and you like what you're hearing, and if you want to hear more of this MMA rant, then subscribe to my channel. I'll be graciously appreciative of it. Now, back to the video here. Right now, Conor McGregor, around, I believe, 6.40 this morning or something like that. I was in the bed sleeping, actually, at that time, getting my beauty rest. But basically, Conor McGregor wrote and said, happy to announce that I'm back on UFC 200. Shout out to at Dana White and at Lorenzo Fertito on getting this one done for the fans. Hashtag respect. Now I was like, damn, okay. You know, this sounds like some shit's going to go down. I knew the power of Conor McGregor was going to uphold. And that's how I really felt about this tweet here. You know what I mean? And honestly, right now, I still feel the same way. Now, later on throughout the day, like I said, I wasn't going to post a video on this yet until I got some little bit more information on what's going on. Okay. But hey, I went to work. I got to work supply for my family. You know what I mean? I got to be a man about my business. So while I was at work and working, trust me, I was working. I was doing a little bit of research at the same time. Okay? And I was constantly going to the web. I'm going to some of my personal links and sources that I won't discuss or tell y'all who they are. Okay? But I got word basically, you know, through social media and like everybody else, that Dana White, when, when asked about this on TMZ Sport, basically he said that this isn't true. He doesn't know why in the hell. Conor he didn't say that exactly, y'all. But I'm, you know how I paraphrase things and put things in my perspective. Basically, Dana White said, I don't know what the hell Conor McGregor's talking about. We haven't had a discussion at all, <clears throat> and he kind of slipped here a little bit. I'm gonna tell you why he slipped it a little bit, and I'm pretty sure the smart people on here that's listening, y'all caught on to this, and the people that aren't so smart about it, you're still gonna catch on to it once I say it. Now Dana White said, "Hey, I don't know what Conor McGregor's talking about. I don't know why he would tweet something like that. I haven't talked to Conor or his team since the press conference." Now, think about that. He said he hasn't talked to Conor or his team since the press conference, okay? Now, last time I checked, when I watched the press conference and they were asking about where's Conor, he said he believed Conor's in Iceland training. He hasn't heard from Conor. He doesn't know anything. So, those are two conflicting stories right there. And so, basically, Dana White has been in touch with Conor McGregor. Now, here's my outlook on this, okay? Here's my outlook and my perspective on this. I totally feel like there's some legitimacy to this because I know even though even though Connor is crazy as hell, 
I know Connor is definitely driven in his mind about what he wants and what he wants to do. There's two possible reasons for this happening, okay? I'm gonna tell you the first one. I feel like Conor McGregor is letting the UFC know that he is so much bigger than UFC 200, that he is actually UFC 200. Conor McGregor is UFC 200. That's how he feels about this. And that's why he's constantly posting tweets referring himself to UFC 200 and wanting the UFC to see how many hits, how big his name is attached to UFC 200. He wants them to know that he is the man of the hour for that event and that the public and the world wants to see him there. And he wants the UFC to see how in an uproar that everybody gets about him being a part of that event. So I think that's what Conor McGregor's doing with the tweets. He's wanting the UFC to know how much pull and power he still has, despite them saying that he's not a part of the card. So that's what I believe he's doing here. I believe he's trolling, but he's also trying to show how much power he has with social media and the rest of the world and how bad they want him to be a part of this. That's my first outlook on this, okay? My second outlook on this, and this is kind of much the one that I pretty much believe is gonna happen, it's this, okay? I believe that Dana White, Lorenzo Fertito, the UFC brass, Conor McGregor and his team have talked about what they're gonna do with Conor McGregor coming back to UFC 200. I personally believe that he's gonna be fighting back at UFC 200. They've discussed this already. I think this time in discussions, they're actually gonna come up with an actual handwritten contracts before anything is said on the UFC's part and also I believe that at the press conference in New York I believe is going to happen on Wednesday or Thursday <clears throat> don't quote me on it but if anybody knows hit me up in the comments and let me know what day they're going to be in New York for that press conference I truly believe at that press conference it's going to be an empty ass chair there right going to come out and just like how Connor was late for a UFC 196 press conference, I think Conor McGregor is going to show up at the UFC International Fight Week 200 press conference late. He's going to show up and cause an uproar at that press conference. The world is going to freaking shatter. Social media networks and outlets are going to shatter because I believe that's where he's going to show up at UFC 200 International Fight Week press conference in New York. And I think the UFC was trying to keep this on a hush. I believe they haven't said anything yet because there's technically no contract written up yet. I believe that's something they're going to do this time, but I think that's when they're going to make it known. It's during that International Fight Week press conference in New York. That is the best way to start off with the UFC showing up in New York is to have a WWE type atmosphere, suspenseful drama situation where everybody's feeling like Conor McGregor with this tweet doesn't know what the hell he's talking about and leave us all in suspense and clueless about it. I think the UFC is in on this shit and I believe this is when Conor McGregor is going to show up. He's going to show up at that again. Like I just said, he's going to show up at the International Fight Week UFC 200 press conference live in New York and it's going to be crazy. Also, I haven't heard shit about Nate Diaz being pulled from that card yet. <laughs> because Nate Diaz clearly said what he wanted. He clearly let everybody know that, hey, he is not fighting anybody else but Conor McGregor. He doesn't want anybody else. He don't want George St. Pierre. He doesn't want Robbie Lawler. He wants the big money fight. And that's when he signed up to fight. He signed up to fight Conor McGregor at UFC 200. Nate Diaz told everybody, including Dana White, to their face that he is not showing up to fight anybody else. And if Conor McGregor isn't fighting, he's going on vacation. It's probably going to be back to Kaibo. He's probably going to be there with Conor this time. Believe it or not, y'all, those two are homeboys. Don't get it twisted. Them two respect each other. Those two got mad props for each other. And I guarantee you that they talk outside of this whole fight game. Or at least they have talked. Believe that, okay? Now, since, Dan, uh, since uh, Nate Diaz say that, said that, we haven't heard nothing about him being pulled from USC 200 yet. So, hey, there's a lot going on with this. Let's start connecting the dots here now. Okay, also, also, at the end of that press conference, 
Think about this. Nate Diaz basically shitted on Dana White when Dana White said, hey, Nate Diaz is going to fight at UFC 200. We're going to get him somebody to fight. Okay? And then as soon as he said that, Ariel Hawani asked a question to Nate Diaz about fighting at UFC 200. And then Nate Diaz turns right around and totally discredits what the boss says. Nate Diaz said, I'm not fighting. And then, when the press conference is over, they're shaking hands, they're talking to each other, they're smiling. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Dad, if I just said something about, if, if my boss is in a meeting with me and says, oh, the company, you know, our department's doing great, we're making this type of money for the for our department, and then I turn around and meet and say, no, we're not. We're not making that much type of money. We're not doing that good at all. You think at the end of that meeting, that my, my supervisor is going to be standing there shaking my hand, talking to me, laughing, and having a good time? No. So I think up there on that stage, when it all was said and done, when it ended, and we seen them up there smiling and shaking hands and talking, I think they were in cahoots about something. Or at least I think Dana White told Nate Diaz something that he wanted to hear. You know? Because they looked like they were in a good mood. And I'm going to tell you all another thing, too. I would not be surprised... Still underneath the weather a little bit, but I'm I'm sounding a lot better. But anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if all of this wasn't nothing but a damn scam to get more heads and more words and more social media outlets and more airtime and more money put into UFC 200. This may be a strategy that the UFC is even using for this. Okay, I wouldn't put none of this past any of them. Because in order to succeed, part of it, man, and I'm going to be honest with you, part of it, you got to make things seem like something that it really isn't. You got to draw attention. You got to make things attractive regardless. No matter what you got to do to make that happen, you got to push the envelope if you want to be successful. You got to think outside the box, you know, and I think that's what the UFC is doing right now. I think that's what Conor McGregor is doing right now. It's living proof. Anything that... Conor McGregor tweets, it goes freaking ham, it goes viral, it goes crazy, and all everybody's been talking about, all sports media outlets, is about UFC 200 and Conor McGregor, y'all. So, with, with Conor McGregor with this tweet, it's almost like a tease that he's thrown out there at us to keep us attracted to what's going on, to keep us all in suspense about a pay-per-view that doesn't happen until three months from now. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to post other videos tonight about other possible fights and things that are going on linked to UFC 200. But I had to definitely do my rant on this one because I feel like there's a lot going on with this. I've already just broke down how I feel about everything that's going on with this. And guess what, y'all? I appreciate y'all listening right now. If you like what you heard, please hit me up with a thumbs up on the video. I'll be graciously appreciative of it. Hit me up with a comment. Let me know what y'all think is the conspiracy theory with this or not. Or if Conor McGregor is going to fight at UFC 200. Or also hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about what I said about this situation tonight. Also, share my videos. Again, hit me up on Facebook. My link is in the description. Hit me up on Facebook. Send me a friend request, y'all. Okay? And guess what? If you're listening right now you're not a subscriber, if you want to hear more of my MMA rant, then subscribe to my channel. I'll be graciously appreciative of it. And until next time, y'all.